my channel. Today I'm gonna do something that probably a lot of people are gonna think is really stupid <laughs> to do at home. I'm gonna pierce my ears. So a little warning to people that don't like seeing needles in skin, seeing blood. It's not gonna be a lot of blood, but maybe it's gonna be a drop or something. So if you don't like that, remove yourself from this video. Exit, exit, watch something else. But if you like seeing how I do it and how I did all of these and how you can do it without any pain, that's the thing today. Because I have some tattoos, um, as you can see, and this technique, it's also working for tattoos and piercings and you're not gonna feel a thing. So this is my little trick. So keep on watching and I'm gonna give you my little secrets. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you about this little secret I have. I don't like pain, I don't enjoy pain, I hate it, but I love tattoos and I love piercings. So this is my best friend. When I go to the tattoo artist, they often be like, mm, do you use cream? And I'm like, yes, I use cream and I'm proud of it because I don't want the pain, I've done the pain a lot of times, I don't want it, I don't give a fuck, I don't want that anymore. So I'm using this, it's called Mitra Plus, 10% of the lidocaine, that's the ingredient that makes your skin numb so you don't feel anything. So I apply this cream to the area I'm going to numb down before the tattoo or piercing, one and a half hour before I start with the piercings or the tattoos, and I love it. Mwah. Here in Norway, you cannot buy lidocaine over like 5%, but I got this off from eBay. I'm going to put it in the description box below so you can just find it, and yeah. It's my best friend. As you can see, I have applied cream right here and here. I'm gonna add a hole in the middle there and one over here. So the cream, it's good. I'm gonna remove it like that. Also took a little bit on the back side of there. I've also taken away my hair from my face. Also put some pins in here to make like everything go away because uh, I've heard though that it's a lot of bacteria in your hair and you also don't want that to get stuck when you're piercing your ears or yeah, having a tattoo in the area. Okay, so like that. Then I will start. So when you're piercing your ears, you want to put something that's like real metal into your ear, like a piercing, not like these ones, these are cheap ones, they're not real gold. You want to put something like real silver, titanium or gold, yeah, inside your ear, so it won't react. I have this little diamond earring from Tiffany. I know it's real, it's really, really pretty, I got it from my husband. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm super lucky, but I'm going to put that one in the new hole right here. And this is what I'm going to use. To do the whole thing. The reason for that is that this is the thickest needle I have because you want this one right here to be thicker than the piercing you're gonna put inside your ear. If this one and the piercing are the same size, you're not gonna uh, have the earring go in after you put in the hole because this one like makes it a little bit wider and then you need to like take it in. If that made any sense words hello but yeah so I will use this needle uh, but first of all I'm going to burn it to make all the bacteria go away so I won't have an infection like that and I also have this antibac because the needle gets a little bit black from the when you burn it so I'm just gonna do it like that and this is like super important you need to do this. If not, you get bacteria in your ear. You don't want that because it's gonna be an infection and you don't want that because it's not good for you and you're gonna hurt and you're gonna, not gonna sleep on that side for like a couple of weeks. Okay, so uh, I've seen a lot of people take like an apple or something on the back to be like, have some pressure against the ear when you pierce it. I'm not gonna do that. I like to just drag my ear like out like this and just pull it in because then I hold the ear and just like, I also have to say that I've, of course, disinfected the airing that I'm going to put in the hole. So everything here is sterilized, everything is clean, my hands are clean, uh, my ear are clean, like everything is clean, clean zone. Clean zone, and I don't want to touch that wood. As I said, if you don't like this, 
go out of the video i don't want any hate for doing this and now i'm gonna do the hole in my ear so again if you don't like this don't watch it and move on to another video it's a million of them on youtube don't watch mine because i don't want any hate for this this is my way of doing it i'm not a professional when that's said let's continue i have the cream right here then i'm gonna put the hole right here then just take it through <laughs> yes and then i take it out again and I will put in put in the earring just like that. Woohoo! Of course, we have to put on the back side of the earring as well. This one also needs to be disinfected, of course. And you're good to go. Hey, look at that! Okay, let's go on to the other side. I have sterilized my needle once again. Now I just need to pull out my air and I want to have the hole like right in the middle of these two ones. And there I want it. And then just take it through. Like that. I didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel anything. That's good though. And then we'll take it out again. Then I have another earring of this side though. This one I inherited from my mother actually. Then I'm going to just take a little piece of paper, take that to back, and then just go over them again to make sure everything is clean and nice. And this is also good to do like a couple of times the days after you've done this to make sure everything is just clean and healing well and yeah let's do this one also as you saw i didn't feel anything didn't hurt looks great and i would really recommend you to use like a straight uh airing in the beginning not like a round one because they're much harder to like fit in the hole because they're need to go like this you'll need someone something that's like this that looked really weird on camera i just saw that but whatever you understand what i mean but yeah uh mini tutorial on how to pierce your ears and i would leave them like this for six weeks before i change to hoops so i hope you liked my little piercing session i like to do it this way i think it's the best way super cheap this one really affordable like eight dollars on ebay or something so just uh, remember to clean it and it's gonna be perfect so i hope you liked the, the little mini tutorial please subscribe to my channel if you did i want to see more of my weird stuff so have a great day and i love you guys